Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Master Podcast with me and Niall Cook. How's it going? Shite. Shite week. <sighs> Just a shite. You know what? I should be in top form today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to die. I went and got a colonoscopy. Is that right? Colonoscopy. <laughs> colonoscopy. See, see when you say a colonoscopy. See when you say a word wrong to me. You can't I say know it the then. word. I can't say it. You then. don't know the word, but colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> colonoscopy. 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 You got it. Colonoscopy. See, but it wasn't. It wasn't confident. They went colonoscopy. Picky. Picky. You still can't say it. I can't say it. Do you know what? Driving over the bridge there, coming here, I was saying it about nine times straight. This is easy said. Colonoscopy. <laughs> colonoscopy. Like you're going up the colon. Colonoscopy. <laughs> what the fuck can I not say it for? Say it again, Mark. He can't. He's afraid though. Could have got it right. Go. Colonoscopy. Colon fucking. Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. Why? Colon. Oscopy. Oscopy. A colonoscopy. <laughs> I can't see it. Did it hurt? Fuck. So on the way up, on the way, did you ever be, did you ever be wrong in an argument, but you just keep arguing? Because <laughs> you're wrong. Oh, I. That's in bad tuning, ladies and gentlemen. I went and got a camera crew up the hole because I can't say colonoscopy. <laughs> Why can I not say it? BBC and I up a hoop. See when you have to ask the desk for a colonoscopy? <laughs> you don't know how to say it? Fucking. Colin Gaddis. That's why I landed on. On the way up, on the way, I was in bad tune. Because you don't know. You think they might find on. They're doing a full. <laughs> find a big shit. There's a big shit up there. <laughs> Hanging on. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Sl- Stallone cliffhanger. <laughs> no! It's six years old, this boy. <laughs> big shit, <shiny> Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> no! But you don't know because you've been nervous a wee bit. Because the last time I went, and I don't know if anybody's I probably didn't mention it before, but I started bleeding from the ask no questions, tell no lies. And I fucking shit myself. And I went to the doctor. <laughs> Literally. Literally, but every time I was going to the bar, it was I never Google. Never do doc- doctor Google. Mm-mm. Because you're going to die in two weeks. Yeah. I remember a time I couldn't yawn. <laughs> Couldn't yawn for you about fucking two weeks, and I looked it up, and the boy says he hasn't yawned in three years. And it's like, when you yawn, it's like fresh in the brain. It's like air fresh in the brain. <sighs> Clears the head, apparently. So I was getting Definitely. stressed out, and then I took a panic. Well, I suppose it's oxygen uh, to the brain. Oxygen right? to the brain. Yeah, there's, 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 a, there's a usage for yawning. It's not just right. science. But anyway, um, where was I? So uh, if I'm yawning all the time on this, my brain's uh, getting powered down. Powering up there, or uh, shutting down, boy, probably. I was powered down, but I'm <gasps> just bored doing what I'm saying. So, anyway, I thought I was going to die, so I spent all my fucking savings on a holiday. Brought everybody away, found out then it was piles. But when they sent the crew up, the crew, <laughs> when they sent the camera up, they found a pallop and they burnt it off. But because of the find, because this was only a half one needed, the chi went in just round the corner. How long did what, how long is Knees it? to the chest the last few times going to the doctor's like. How long's I'm the, used to it now. How long's the half? Like what length is half? Oh, it's meters, like. Fuck. And they blow air. <sighs> Not with their lips, like, but... <laughs> <laughs> so what they do is they fucking blow air, they widen it up so they can get through the... Right. And with the camera right in front of you so you can watch them, like, you're all right. Move it away, but no, I, mean, I don't want to watch them. Say, boy, boy, what does it look like? Boy before me just says he watches everything because if he sees someone he doesn't like, he asks the question. Hey, what the fuck? No, I mean, why is there a worm? <laughs> why is there a worm up in fucking hole? But, um, so then they sent again for another one and they found another palp, burnt that off. So then they says because palps can be cancerous if they grow, you need to come back in five years. So I was like, I know bother. Anything could happen in fucking five years and it felt like a week and a fucking fortnight and now I'm back. Uh. Got a letter that says, that's not five years. Fuck it is. Oh, uh, so... So they says you might have to get them every they five didn't, years. You weren't down there because they found something. This was just routine. You had to come back in five years. They check how the things were. The pallops. The pallops. So you still fucking think, you know the way you be at our age? Oh, they're going to find fucking tone this time. No, I wouldn't, sir. That's not how I think at all. There's a bit of that in your head whenever you're going up like... Um, I never panic, Dan. I don't panic. I just sit silently in bad tune. So we're going up the road That's and anything Arla says I was falling over, you know what I mean? And I was wrong and Kovla was with us, so she was even backing her mouth. No, you know you're wrong again. 
She didn't say that, Daddy, all right? <laughs> Whatever yeah. I was going to And up. even I got out there, she says, I make my own way home. Fuck up, you're a mistake. <laughs> you're a lucky one. <laughs> but um, even I got out and slammed the door and says, I'll get my own way home. <laughs> That's the way I left to go and find out whether I'm going to live or die. That's the way my head was like. Went on and there were three boys before me. So they bring you in and they ask you, do you want you have two choices, gas and air or an anaesthetic? Is that right? Mm. Takes the pain Anesthesia. Off. Anesthesia. Is that a little movie? It's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of love. Little she patch. Me. <laughs> no, uh, maybe. She does. Uh, sometimes she swaps eyes. Fuck mm. all wrong here, you can't. Um, landed on... You know, you have to do the thing with the air suit, the back of them. Uh, the and I said to the nurse, I says, which is better? So, you know, tell me which is better. I'm going to take it. She goes, everybody's different. Some people get the gas in there. Some people get the jag. And some people don't get anything. And I says, right, give me the gas in there. And then I walked in the waiting room. There's three men all wearing the same clothes as me. I says, and you could see they all had the needle ready for the station. <laughs> And I says, none of you's getting the gas in there. He says, you fucking mad. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting with him. And the next the conversation for the next 15 minutes is, hey, well, I say to them, well, when she comes in, I'm going to fucking say to her. <laughs> and then, you know, we were saying the home. An old man came in then, boy from Newton Stewart, skinny, 75 years of age, sat down. I says, did you get, that? what are you doing? He goes, oh, gas in there. This is about my 10th time, he says. And then I started to act tired with him, the other boys. Pansies and all that, doing all that. What was he like? Well, this is my tenth time. No. <laughs> See. I thought we were moving away from that now. I'm just checking. No, you're not. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> <laughs> so, the price of salmon. Like, we have that sort of fame that... Poor fame, if you know what I mean. Uh, no money. Shade fame. Shade fame. Because <laughs> I was a... Um, so what to do? Even the boy, the boy said, oh, they have to get a smaller camera for me. You know, apparently I have a wild tight arse. Who says that? I forget his name. But he owns two pharmacies, so <laughs> never had us. Yeah, it was, uh, and then I went, I must be talking shit. You know what boys say? You know, but then the doctor came in and he says, hey, we got a thinner camera for you. Don't you worry about it because we knew the last time it was about tighter and all out there. Like, so in front of everybody, like... You could hear them. They went, no, you could hear them. And, and I was going to say, get me the fucking thunner. Why doesn't everybody have the thunner camera? No, no way. If it's the same thing, put the thunner one up. Okay, uh, <laughs> nurses looking over the doctor. Thunner or wide? Oh, the wide one here. Oh, so the day before, I was like, I'm forced to see the fast until you can do it if you really want to. Because like, I just put it out of my mind. The day before, I had the fast. Well, my last meal was... Two boiled eggs or so on at one o'clock. Five o'clock then, during the match, I had to take the first fucking bag of shit. <laughs> Takes you an hour to drink it. Sip, sip, pegging. Just hear oh, 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 oh. KFC landed for everybody else, you know what I mean? I'm in the other room just looking, going, bastards. Or banjos jacks they got. Because they're against Pal- or Israel now. Can't go KFC. Banjos jacks? Jack banjos, is it? Something like that. Banjo jacks, I guess. Is that what it's called? It's not called banjos jacks. If you ever want to get a taste nice chicken, go to Banjo Jacks. Where is it? <laughs> There's no such thing. Like, no, Banjo Jacks doesn't even say what it is like. Is there anything? Banjo Jacks, like, it doesn't tell you what, what it is. What is the Banjo Chicken? chicken? Or, 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 Banjo Jacks Chicken. Banjo Jacks Chicken. I just make up. Banjo it's like Jack. every song. I make up my own words, and then when you get the. We get something out of Cotton Eye Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. But anyway, so fucking. Oh, that was a tight, tight one. And then the second fucking batch was two bags. <laughs> You have to mix it for fucking eight months. Was this red in your system? This is like a, the, the, the daddy of all laxatives. The ultimate. So I says, right, I'm going to play computer games to keep, keep my mind off not eating and all that crack. Changing the routine there, huh? No, no way. I never, <laughs> I would, Tonight, if the boys are playing computer games. I was chatting a couple of mates online and they just, it was one of them jobs. I fucking am about shit, shit, shit. And then silence. I'm always shaking. <laughs> I left all the doors. One time, somebody closed one of the doors. So I have like four doors to get to the bag. <laughs> and it was. Told everybody to leave them open. And then there's one, one of my doors was closed. And I was like, fucking hell. Because that's just. Yeah. <laughs> you are red. That's a real like, disgusting story. <laughs> I'm telling you what it's like. I know. I, I, I'm so I'm done. Too much imagery. 16 and a half stone. I would say it was about 17 and a half at Christmas. 
but I was also non on Saipan, you know what I mean? I was empty. Uh, Probably about five pound empty out of me. Mm. And water weight's gone too, like? All everything, I. All And right. I've been training every day because I'm not allowed to drink for this. So I trained Saturdays and Sundays and everything. Uh, me and Big Rose and the boys. I seen you at the didn't even speak. Like Rose is there, you mate. This is what chat in the gym. When I talk Where? To, when I talk to the podcast. Me and Rose were training beside you and some other. Oh, I was chatting me. You put your arse in my, f- your arse and right. my face. <laughs> it's doing wits. You're looking no, at me. I was doing, doing sit ups. <laughs> and you put your arse. How were we no, not I, I was waiting for you to come up. I nearly <laughs> was able to do the blown air thing up your hole. <laughs> You're looking at young fellows, we. I was chatting right. to you about three times. That's right. What are boy, get off me! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show it the cleanest air since Japan at that palms. moment. At that moment, but I uh, went under the room and the embarrassing part was like, oh, just get up there and put your knees to your chest. Woman, two women and a, two nurses and a doctor. And the doctor says, "Tell me this: when you pull the knees up, does the sack hang down?" No, no. I can bundle on the front. I'm not like you, you fucking weirdo. That's old man one. Just sat there oh. staring. I would say the woman would be looking. But anyway, one of them, uh, <laughs> they try and chat to you because going on, see the thing about it that goes on for, it's not sore, it's, un- it's like you're like wild stomach pains, gas and air like fuck, but it's the sensation I'm going on further. <laughs> it's just like, it's, you know when the boys do the fucking, uh, say you have a black sewers, yeah. and they get the pipes, <laughs> just the same as that. But I'm like lying there in the garden, she goes, hey, do you know what, I know you, I went to a couple of your shows. <laughs> Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never going, thought I'd see you. Oh, she was in the Alley Theatre and she was one of them, I think, or something like that. I think she might have been even in here, I don't know. And I'm just looking at her going, this is... <laughs> And she's bet you'll get a nice feed when you get out of here. And I'm like, oh, that's the last thing I'm thinking about, love. A nice feed? Because uh, you're starving, like, obviously. And then I went under the... After that, Anna was sitting in the recovery room. If you do one of them, you have to stay an hour. If you do the gas in there, you're out in 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, cause you but there's a boy waiting and he goes, Where are you from? And I says, Oh, do you know what boy does the orange man? Oh my god, I'm going to have tough. I says, Ah, that's me. I fucking knew it. I told, I told the boy beside him. I knew that. I just knew the voice. I says, Just knew mm. the voice. Horrible. Horrible, hateful, cackly. A <laughs> <laughs> couple of ones did that. What do you call the singer from Derry? He's on a path to health too. He's doing all the training now. now. He was we were he was playing on the man informer or something. And they heard me round the corner, never seen me, he come around now and it was you Strabanter. <laughs> Strabanter too. Just hear that oh, remember I did all the voiceovers? Aye. So that's what it would have been. Where's the who's the singer? What do you call him? He's fucking on the fitness now. He would have entered like Britain's got talent and got to the semi finals or something like that. Or old, he did a song for Straban. Remember the boys got him down to sing a song for some charity fucking event. It doesn't quite now. Say own quite guy just for, for them. I don't. As a fan, I don't remember names. He re, well, he didn't remember your Mr. Banter just. Uh, Aye. I didn't come around going road end. This is <laughs> row. Hey, sir. So I and I got oh. the all clear. And I don't have to go back. This it. Just getting the all clear. That's. Some and I don't have to go back. So. Hope's so on life's good then, you mean? So hope's on happens to you, eh? Life's good. Oh, see that thought of lying back and someone putting metres of pipe up your hip? It's going to come, you have to do it. See the good well, thing you about came, it. You came, did you? See <laughs> the come. <laughs> you all right there, eh? <laughs> all right. Keep going. But I've, I've see the, the thing. <laughs> oh, my, see them <laughs> cancers now, but near, and, and there, you don't feel them. That's why it's good now. My name was poisoned. And then he goes, you all right there, Mr. Boy? I'm going to come. Mm. They tell you, if you have to fart, just batter on. I'm like, huh. Oh, no. Did any air, like, involuntary? Like- Before I went down, I felt like shitting. But I think it was just, like, a ghosty. You know what I mean? Just your ass going, fuck all that, but here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just thinking, oh, there's going to be a mess in the fucking sheets. Fair play to them girls, I've worked in there, because I see them boys all different all types of airs. Mine's is shining, but you know what I mean. Did they see the whole thing? Do you know? Do you know the? I didn't watch anything, but I came back in, and the last picture was just the, the anus. <laughs> <laughs> A red baboon anus just in your look. 
<laughs> Tap the like, gears all there, tell you. Okay, you can get under your shoes now. I'm like, uh, it's about the size of my face beside it. Like, <laughs> the North Star. Oh, the North, the fucking Mount Doom. Uh, the A. <laughs> Mount Vesuvius, just. I wanted to take a photo of it, but it, was not, it wasn't on the farm, you know what I mean? Just fucking. Oh, it's great when it comes out. Do you, do you know what? I have in the video now. Just <laughs> I turned around the doctor. I turned around the other. Man, you turned around. He was going. That's <laughs> 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 <I'd see> you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick wee bastard. We'd be for a doctor. Say, hey. <laughs> oh, you <we're> can't. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Ah, <laughs> he doesn't do anything else. <laughs> what? You saw that? Aye, got ahead. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where's the camera? On the end of my finger. <laughs> oh, you're alright. Uh, and I always, for years, the thought of that, you know, even the doctor asked me to drop a trousers was always a thing. It was one of so, sort of like, what do you call it? Not like a fear, but a phobia of mine. Like, I don't know, I was never wanting to bend, but then you just get used to it. Get yeah. up there to bend over and just, and you're like, uh-huh. got ahead. Okay, well, I get, I like if I had to get it done, like I would get it done, there'd be no problem, but I wouldn't be looking for it, really. Like. I think men, and see the snip, it's more the whole idea of everything, uh-huh. rather than the pain. The pain's not the worst. It's like annoying, but then you can gas and air it and get all bit wired. I said to the doctor, because he has his, his voice, you from Donna Lana? And he goes, no, nah, Balamina. I says, I see him syllables, you know what I mean? da 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 Balamina. And you're proud. No, I ain't. I know. <laughs> Protestant. <laughs> but, uh, not Upper being, class. What do you call it? Balamina? Or what do you call it outside or in the way? In Donegal, in the way they... Anyway, I think it might have been a Donegal tournament, but it was a free silver one. But it was just because I was wired in the gas in there. They said to me, did you ever have it before? I said, hey, when the wife was pregnant. Mm. <laughs> she was hard at something in the bed. I've been getting wired on that one time, but it made me feel kind of sick. Uh, sort of a bit like Tipex. <laughs> uh, or what do you call it? Petrol. What do you call the stuff <laughs> the gay boys use? Poppers. Poppers, you love that. <laughs> he had a lovely nose before he started it. Just all keep it up. <laughs> that was heavy duty that stuff. Did I give you poppers before? There was boys. <laughs> get the camera up. I remember just going to the grill and boys had them. <laughs> and then it's just a... Uh, oh, I remember. And a headache and then pain and then back there. What the fuck did you give me, sir? It's like, uh, what do you call them things? You snap them for laughing with Oh, the smell insults? Aye. <sighs> Joe Rogan always has them out. Uh, I'd love a good blast of them. Someday, bring them on. Bring them on. <laughs> Would you eat that dead fish crack? No. What's that? My life. <laughs> They're all dead. What's that? You know that smell as fish in the world? Ah, uh, yes. You just think they're doing apparently and everything. Do so you know what she's getting wild popular now? Um, chewing, it's not chewing tobacco, but it's a thing you put in your gun. What is it? Chewing tobacco. Aye, but it's not chewing tobacco because you don't chew it. Gum? No, it's like a wee, it's like a wee sack. Then you put a sack in your mouth. Midgets. You just put it there and you're... And, 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 and just releases... It just... Oh, was it bad V? I think it's just pure nicotine. Bleh. Who does but that? Nicotine's good for you. You buy them in the shop. They're, uh, what's the remember the boys used to do them? Remember the cowboys? Well, not even cowboys, but boys still do it. Just tuck it in on their head. But there must be something similar to that. Just to have big tins underneath the bar? This comes in a wee tin. Well, I left it in the gym the last day and there was one left, but I didn't know if it was used or not. You going to try it? No, why? But, no, I wasn't going to try the used one. <laughs> oh, it was used there, but why would you try it? I don't know. Everybody's. <laughs> Who's everybody? It's the first time I've heard. I've heard loads of podcasts. People are doing it. You buy them in the shop, just they're about £6. Sounds just rotten. They're spicy too, I think. I remember trying the actual real stuff and it was disgusting, like... Just to sit up in there and just let her go for and sting your fucking gums and Aye, all. I can uh, see her stuff. Ding! Uh, Wally Thompson, all we're doing it somewhere. I'll get us this podcast, I think. And what do you think? I think Wally threw up. Ah, there you go. He's a rat in that, say. Excuse me. No, I wasn't bad for him. Medical condition too, me fucking eye, man. Aye. Still? Take it off the glasses, we get a lavity. There you go. <laughs> but man, my whole face. Aye, I see that. No, but I mean, like, my whole thing came out like a big bluster. No, I see it. What do you mean? Are you? Are you on a bit of sway? Fuck, I must have been bad. Ah, right. 
That's jokes, ladies and gentlemen. That's not as fucking vision, I can see. Oh, man, I had me in the worst form. What night was it? Saturday night? Just take a glass up again, just nice and slow. Look into the camera and do it, go on. Now take your hand away. Look at the state of that. No? This is why you need to get on fucking Patreon. So you can watch this shit. Bad form. Not sexy today at all. Why? Just to come out of nowhere? <clears throat> man, because, like... You can feel the swelling. Mm. You know, like you feel like fucking chunk of the Goonies, or what do you call them? Hey, you guys! <laughs> hey. Just in bad form. Then I trained, I think that I trained, I still trained there. That's the thing about training. You're good at going regardless. That's how you won the gym, isn't it? Right. Just go when you're not. It's probably the best. Like the day I said, I'm going to go over and do 15 minutes just to keep the ball rolling, and then I did a good 40 minutes. Yeah. Get on and get started, and you always do. The bit. No, I'm going to go airline again, I think. I'm going to do a couple of airlines. Mornings? You be in an early. You don't stay just. No. Do you not, do you train after you do them sessions? The last thing you want to do is to train then, is it? No, no. Why don't like, you join on the session? Because you're not supposed to. Because your health and safety, you're supposed to be watching the people. When Somebody could get hurt. When do you ever care about that? I don't, but you can't have to. So then just stay and do a session, you mean? Aye, but I'm going to actually go to the class before the class. There's a class on before that class. I'm going to go to the 6 o'clock class. CrossFit? No, Hydrox, no, that says. So there's one on the night again? Aye. What's that? Like, just... It's, it's a mixture of more fit cross... It's not as technical as CrossFit, so there's not as much, like... Handstands and shit. Aye, there's none of that. There's no, like, snatching. More compound lifts, like back squat or deadlift, but then fitness mixed in. Me and Big Lafferty did a couple of sessions this week, uh, getting the whiteboard out and writing down Big Lafferty, strong to you, the cunt. We're getting around. He's at the Jiu Jitsu now, private lessons in the morning. Oh, yeah. It's heard up, and I was trying to get If you're back. at and you're strong, you'll get good at you know, you'll be, You get, I think, big, strong people, and it doesn't help you technically, but you'd be more dominant. First, it can be, yeah. First strength year is or so. Thing. Like, I've heard all along that strength doesn't matter, it 100% matters. Matters, but if you're really technical, like a real technical purple belt would be the big, strong white belt. Oh, I, oh, fuck I. Aye, but there you go. That's aye, but if you have two people that are similar, one no. stronger, then... Ah, the stronger is going to one. But I always notice they gas out quicker, two str- people using strength. Do you know what I mean? I don't right guys. <clears throat> I definitely gas out. <laughs> I gas out all that. See, like, see I when gas I, out thinking about it. See, like. when, uh, see when I do put on a bit of weight, but I'm also like, you do... You, f- like, see if you're you carrying, feel better? No, if you see if you're carrying a couple of extra kilos of muscle... You gas out. You're fucked. Oh, I've seen boys with steroids and used to jump in the cage. They were useless. How many fights I've seen boys fighting gassed out? Nothing left. Second round. So it means like fucking because of the muscles full. You have to fill the fucking muscles with oxygen. Oh, None of the fat boys won fights. Sometimes you know if your muscles are struggling, you go. <laughs> it just gets the oxygen to your muscles. <laughs> So just joke. Ronan Boyle told me that. A joke. <laughs> it? I yawn and you do fuck all the fucking feel good. <laughs> just do a lot of weights and walk. Our age. Fuck you. No, I want to do a bit more fitness again. I'm back off my hand now. I'm back now. I'm back. Like fitness is good. You do feel better. But you can get better looking with just doing weights and eating right. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's mad. Like when you stop doing CrossFit, you grew about half a stone. Mm. But then when you do CrossFit, then you look fucking... Like a pansy again. <laughs> right. What's a pansy, Ron? People love in fucking Laurel Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if there's any patrons from Laurel Drive. He's Unless joking. you're a pansy. Right, or pansy. Uh-huh. I thought just people from Pansy Street. Pansy Street in the Ballycombe. No, so... Ballycombe. Do you remember? You, did you, so you, you wouldn't have played Castle Ray, would you? Remind me. You don't even know what Castle Ray... So Castlereagh, I heard down south to call it IRA. So it's the same game, but I don't know if it's the same game. But <clears throat> I've heard of it. I can't remember what it is. Castlereagh is the place where they detained Republicans. Aye. That was like the interrogation centre. Aye. You didn't go down there, like? No. So what happened in a, in a wee Republican town, in a wee Republican street, like the Bally coming, the big boys, borderline joining the Rano, maybe in the Ra, used to play a game called Castlereagh. And what it is is you got a piece of information and if you tout it, you're out. <laughs> so they let you get away and these boys are all like 15, 16. We're 10. 
What's that table? So you fucking right. So so basically, they just chase you down, knock a fuck out of you. Basically, what they do is they kick the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> they give you, I mean, the kickings we got. So apparently, it looks like training because you never sign. Whatever you do, you know never, what I mean. Never what? You never sign. Cause you have to sign. They put the hand out. Sign. No, but fucking sign. And, and if you sign, then whoever's first to sign is a fucking dick. Like it's Roland, that, that's the game. We never played that game. What a game! <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why you're all. It's just a kicking. <laughs> so you were in the ball coming the rules where you weren't allowed to touch the roads so they kept you inside this sort of area I remember hiding in coal bunkers no no like for five hours please don't go get me. They get, like I remember they all went home I'm still in the coal bunker <laughs> I swear to God <laughs> tell me see this game can you go do you know what boys I had to go and get my tea here I'm not playing nah. <laughs> batter oh you were getting the biggest kicking then <laughs> and I mean two boys holding you know they're putting in the legs open kicks in the balls everything Kickings. You just had, you didn't, that wasn't a bad information, you just had a sign. If you didn't sign, the guy didn't sign one time, and I was like a hero. Fair play to son, all rubbing the head, you lumping away, flags. Broken arm. <laughs> Black. Camera up your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging a doctor and two nurses. <laughs> <laughs> so I, Castle Ray, fame, I, it's definitely played all over, but I thought, I know you boys didn't play it, but I, there's no rhyme or reason. It was just, you run, hide, we catch you, we're beating the shit out of you, do we get the information we need? Do you know what we call that up in our street? Bullying? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play army too, you know, them ones, and there was always the girls and nurses. <laughs> I always got shot in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse! Uh, Fucks me. I got that. They never did it. You're all right. I remember playing a game of Spun the Bottle one time. My mate, JJ Fire's house. Six women, six fellas. The bottle landed me and all the girls ran out of the room. <laughs> Two, two jump behind sofas. <laughs> like, like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> you sit in my fucking mates. Like. Do you remember the one you used to do in the cupboard? They buy in a garden, turn the light off. Fuck, why did I turn the light off and you were there? <laughs> turn the light on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and mean? it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Bad enough as a girl. Like. But oh, I remember that wasn't good for the fucking. Uh, Self-esteem when that happened. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, I would knock you off looking and even ask for a girlfriend. Fuck, I know, man. No wonder you were fucking down the town fighting uh, every week. <laughs> Better than anybody had a girlfriend. You fucking cocky. No wonder you had issues like... Oh, I, I used to stand outside the bars with a bottle of Buckfast and a duffel coat on. Will you go with me instead, love? Girls jumping out in front of the I mean, might have had odd shoes on. <laughs> might have had a brown shoe and a black shoe on. Walking over. Hey, do you want to go with me? She jumps over the water wall. <laughs> The whole town empty. <laughs> Not a woman left in the town. Like, do you know that say this at the opening scene of Twenty Eight Days Later, where he's just walking through London and there's nobody about? Social hand grenade. Just. <laughs> I was telling you about we were at the bar one time. Aye. Me and Terry and Kieran next morning after a night out went down, oh, went down to the bar, walked in, I went for a piss, and came back to the place was empty. <laughs> like, next day I met boy and he says, "Hey, as soon as we seen you three in the farm, run, oh, everybody just went." A few Terry and Kieran were coming back from night party and landed on they like what was it, Georgie B's in the morning? Wrestling with each other, well, not even caring about who's around. No, yeah, Adam, Adam and straight out. I think the barman says, "Boys, we can set a table at the front feast now." <laughs> <laughs> I fucking dead on me. You went dead on. Where's everybody away? What uh, the fuck? Uh, do you know? You know what? Cup we. Fuck, it would have been partying and went to a bar in the morning. No, all been quiet. Oh, and, uh, uh, and then you three would have landed on. No, oh, fuck. It's time to leave. Oh, oh we could read a bar. Right? Read the bar. I know our boys to read a bar. Right? <laughs> I can't even say no. I'm going to do it. Them boys are off the drink now. Kieran's off in three years and days. Fucking flying as well. Hey? Never to see, touch it again. I, I pulled the drink, the drink. I never had. I never really. If I get up the next morning and sleep, I don't want to go drinking. Aye. Where the boys would have got up and went right pub. You know what I mean? So I think that was the difference. And then the comedy then pulled back my drinking big time because I had other things to do rather than oh, I can't wait till the weekend to have a, a sesh. Aye, but you also you also mature. 
It's like a bottle of wine, on a, like a wa- like a wine on a Saturday night, far more, far more enjoyable than Aye. down in bars, Aye. annoying people. Exactly, and yeah. then dealing with it the next day. Do you know what I mean? You're getting up going, uh, like a lot of people will wake up and their hangover means nothing. It's like they get the fear and they shake themselves, but really they did nothing. So See when reason. you wake up. Did you annoy anybody the last night you were out drinking? The night after uh, we were playing pool up in the fir trees? Did you throw your t-shirt over somebody's Ah! Oh. <laughs> so just uh, found out there now, our next episode is going to have Iron McCann on, ladies and gentlemen. Happy days. Be good crack. Two Patreons on one week. Mm. Well, I said uh, Mark would not need to do Monday now. No. Because this will do. Okay. <laughs> We're back, ladies and gentlemen, just a wee interjection from somebody. So I haven't been in the bottle room in a while, I might try to get down Thursday night. Oh, I can't. You have to? Walk and walk. We're doing a podcast. No, after. <laughs> I'm working after that. You know what? The less bodies, the better, because 60 tickets are sold. And it's always tight. Do you know what happens? Whenever the room's all set up, each table's got four seats, but say three sit down, and one seat's tucked in. So we need somebody to say on the way in, or four sit here. I was house six. Is that not what you mean this job, do you? Yeah. Haven't heard from Eamon much. This last wee while. Eamon, call me. We were getting a lot of gigs, hey? Fucking, this is the most gigs, I would say, that I've have set up by January for the year already. Because we're doing, we've got four quarterlies now. We've got the Cumber House and Clotty. So that's going to be every three months. Right. And then we've got a H- Higgins Byron on Gannon. Grew up in Cumberland. Higgins Bar. They, uh, they all knew you, sure. Mm, They're all asking. For a family, so we'll get stuck in you the next one. Come up the next one. Aye. Then we've done Gannon's, uh, Higgins Bar and Dungannon, but we're staggering that. So one's going to start in March, one's going to start in April. So every month, one of them. And where else? Lamavati Rugby Club one is back every quarter as well. So, Are you in the Glen Owen now on Friday night? Aye. What do you think about your idea, Santi? But fuck, do you even remember? When? Saturday night, about the wee gap in the tour for the live pod. Oh, I, I see if we can get them down. Aye. Aye. Asking. I thought that was a good idea. I can't remember. What the fuck? Anyway, when are, I was thinking May might be good with the weather, and, but a fucking summery feeling about it. We're back. But uh, the well, I thought we could have done like a March and then an August. March and August? Why not? I was just thinking, January, you're fucked. February. February then still You're kind of half less fucked. Did you get your mileage on? Less. It's on. I'm going to. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you haven't done any miles. But anyway, I'm... Um, aye. And then March you're starting to get the wee... Uh, March you're getting the wee... Ooh. That's what I'm saying. So May then you're ready to the rock. Yeah, well, maybe. You need to book it now. Yeah, but you need to see him. Well, then we'll get somebody. <laughs> Fucking man, not good enough. Us. Right. Usn't. Fucking fan of More for us. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just keep in touch. We'll, we'll, we'll keep these posted on that. We're definitely going to be doing a live show. Many do we, did we only do one last year and two the year before? Was that us? Last yeah. summer we did. Aye, August day. And that was we booked it Black Valley. <laughs> I changed it. That was Mickey's fault. Aye. It's not about anybody's fault or own. But um, <coughs> we'll go for March or May. We'll sort it out. We'll have a chat about that. But definitely get a live show going because they are good crack. Like see if he said he could do it in March. Whatever did he want to sell the tickets? Aye. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was thinking Christmas show this year too. I might think of doing for the stand up. I'm going to try and see if I can get Kieran Bartlett or something. Fir trees again. Ma, comedians are doing everything. Darts now. Darts. Did you see this new thing Sold on BBC? What? Comedians going to chippies. Getting fatter. That's the name of the show. I love Kieran Bartlett's. Uh, what is it? We love Liz or something. Uh, we dirties. <laughs> he's brilliant, man. No, it's he's how comedians go to chippies. Is that what has us? Uh, get fatter. <laughs> so I see it's Colin Murphy, Diona. To be Paul. fair, the dark one half of them look like but it's dark on TV. Is it? It's on BBC. Class. Oh, you know what? Fair fucking play to them all because What's, when they do well, I do well. Do you know what I mean? It's your because uh, they pull you up with them. I think it's your, what's your favourite chip shop order? Mine's. Go out buy a supper every fucking day of the week. My family don't like chippies. They're all fucking, it's either Chinese or KFC or something. Like chippies very last. On the last where I'm a chippy man. Mm. 
I don't know what. Like I couldn't nail down just the exact chippy. I love a burger, like, uh, but then I also burger. love like a battered sausage with fucking vinegar on it, uh, a bit of curry sauce dip, or a taco dip. Fuck. Oh, two hot, two battered sausages and a taco dip. That's me. Not too high. Well, chips like plaster. You don't like you tell me you don't I love like chippy like chippy chips. I don't like like McDonald's fries uh. or. My granny's chips were the best in deep fat fryer. You know, mm. Her own, just a pot with lard in it. Fuck. Mm. Big chips. I don't know why we should do something like that then. Not get fitter. Go around, no, go around gyms and get fitter instead of show them up. Go to protein chips. Gary Pollock, comedian. Gary far- Pollock. Ca- Gary Pollock, Pollock right. <laughs> a former, uh, I'll tell you what, I used to do MMA and I fought in the same stable. as three men I fought. I MMA. Was it, are they still called that? Mm, nah, they're still about it, I think. Uh, Rodney Moore. So he's looking to fight me in this celebra- charity boxing for comedians. Did you say celebrity? I was going to say celebrity. <laughs> I, had to say, I said it the last clip. Did you? And I was like, eh. <laughs> Wanker. Oh. I, so Comedians s- boxing? Comedians boxing. I set it up. Because I'd be good, man. It's always, see, I like having wee targets. It's more of the training and stuff like that. Getting at it. Get involved too. See my history in the way there. And get us as well. Mm. Hitting big slaps too. Yeah. What are you talking about, Lewis? What are you talking about, Lewis? I <laughs> know, <laughs> uh, you know what? I would love I would love uh I would love to be on it again. But I would love to have a ticket this time, maybe. I think the TSSC arena this time. It's been fucking easy enough to get a ticket. Fuck the darts, the stars in her eyes. <laughs> they should have had me as Blobby Williams. I sit and wait Does an angel Contemplate my fate You know what? I'm trying not to sing <laughs> Go and sing along And do they know The places where we go When we're grey and old <laughs> oh, no, I, But man, they're doing everything They're taking over you, you know what? I've been told What? Why not Take every penny That you can squeeze out of it While the going's good like because uh, they have like a history podcast as well. Ken Bartlett just well, see everything. before COVID. Well, a good bit before before COVID. Kakaku. I know that the 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 aim for every comedian was to do the Ulster Hall. No, that's nothing compared to it's SSC Arena. Like, fucking how does that many does that hold? Five thousand. Something like that. Twenty five thousand. Hundred thousand people in the one room. So it's, the biggest? It's, so it's it's people are embracing the comedy and probably the Bubba Wilbur you hear the couple of naysayers a lot last long. So this year it'll be just full of I have the boiler room, I've got the Kosh doing well, and then I'm adding them quarterlies, and then I've got Orange and New Green, we're doing the Millennium Forum this year. Finishing it I think this year. Millennium Forum and then Stravan and other shit that we're doing. So there's plenty on without me having to worry about anything else. Create my own fucking Build your own SSC. Build your own empire. Call of cultures. Call it the FSS. For and fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, them the old for bastards fuck's again. Sake arena. <laughs> for fuck's sake, arena. For fuck's sake. Let me see. Fucking hate Tom. Like, there's people hate you. Oh, yeah. Somebody put on my thing. Oh, you're one of them boys who just middle-aged women appreciate. <laughs> you see that? Me? Fuck, I'm having that. You're fucking right. This is hey, good. All middle... And then there's boys, oh, Tom, yeah. coming on, going, I must be a middle-aged woman then. No support. Yeah. Support. Oh, uh, you must be one of them boys that all middle aged women love. <laughs> they have enough of that. Probably gay men as well. I'm going to a gay wedding than me. <laughs> hey. You just really scratch your ears again. No, space man, they're not my side. I always get, I don't know, podcast makes me itchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> podcast make your left cheek itchy. Hey, what about the storm? Aye. Uh, so I didn't even look out. House wrecked. Shut up. Hi, insurance boys coming out tomorrow. Long Rouse long. lost his whole fence. And my fence are gone. Out the back? Out the, the side? Do you know what it is? The boys that put it on didn't put on concrete posts. Uh, a jungle man could put on? <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking lollipop <laughs> stick. And fucking, that'll do them. So, Run! And it's like... Do you not dare to leave it? Aye, go! <laughs> no, just sort of... All right! <laughs> just don't touch it! Aye, uh, the height of summer when there's no wind. And you look out and it looks like fucking you have a massive back garden now because there's no fences. I know, but man, the, the roof is fucked. Your roof? The tiles are, the half the tiles. Half is the it roof. because you're sort of, you are out, out in the open, really, aren't you? Uh, no, no. The back of your roof. House. The roof, it's up high. 
The one see things are up high. What what one gets what it. does there tiles off your roof and everything? Oh, I can see the felt. You can see like the whole strip, the whole the tops, everything. Insurance job. I uh, come You went up there in a ladder and started pulling tiles off just to fucking. No man. <laughs> But sure. see, right? See where the roof meets, like the the corner. But so all the tiles must have fell off. But they were all piled up right at the corner. And if you slammed the door, so I was like, me and the winds were running on night. And I was like, ah, there's tiles. Pick that up and sweep them. Man, there was just tiles ready. To <laughs> could have fucking killed you. God, could have killed somebody. They're sticking under the muck on the ground, like. And uh, like, if you'd have slammed the door, one could have fell on your head. So I said, the winds just that about there. Yeah, uh, go on out and play. So I had to get a boy in to come and dodge, get up and uh, take them. Mad, mad now compared to it back in the day with just the entertainers. Did you ever hang it? That's another one about Bob we were talking about. Do you remember the ice cream van with the face in the back of it? Mm-hmm. And boy, it had the big nose and all. Yeah, remember Bob used to hang off that when it was flying through the ballet coming, just fucking with his nose. I remember we used to jump on stuff too, because uh, you used to think you were in Back to the Future. Hi. <laughs> Madness, I remember one it's time. It's hit to be swear. Oh, oh was it the power of love? <laughs> the pi- aye, aye. Very similar song. Dun, Same guy. It's the dun, 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 dun. Don't need money. Don't, Don't need fame. <laughs> Hanging on the back of <laughs> legs, traps, <laughs> rope. I did. <laughs> I remember we were doing Nandy Tuts and playing a game of pool, me and Kieran. And it wasn't, we and every week, we hated each other and we played pool. And do you ever play pool? Like sometimes you can one ten now, but it's never tight. See, there one one person's one or another, but we used to have Sunday dinner, knew it was ready, but the first in, got to the microwave first. So I remember we were playing, he was beating me like eight. Oh, up. Sunday dinner, microwave chips? Just beans and toast. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, we got cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's Day. You know what I mean? I put a slice of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> but I remembered us one day, hey, and I says, he was sucking me and. I start playing then, useless. No, oh, uh, taking my shots like that. Well, he's. <laughs> I'm just going to go and take your shots. So I have a tendency to go to the toilet, but I left. And just to wee things in each other, my reason was to get on up the road so I can get Mike waving my dinner before him, no one of them. <laughs> so I'm nearly up at the school, and I can see down the road he's coming. And I was going, he's, even though he's fitter, and he, could pro- he would never catch me there. So I was doing a wee jog and giving him the fingers and all, and then I just started going on the trot, and then I started walking the graveyard. Next month, this van flew by, and there's Kieran hanging on the Just Kieran, I'm fucking hanging. Look at those lights at the top of the road, or he was going to fucking Oma. <laughs> Cars behind me, people and everything. There's a young fella, he's only about 11, fucking f- passing me. We used to do that shit all the time, hanging from the back. I remember. And it was like normal. Uh, it's like normal behaviour, like. Uh, I remember the bun line, we used to jump in the back out. The school too, we couldn't afford the 10p to get the school bus, so we used to open the boot, just sit on it the whole upper road. Uh, I remember the main line, we used to just jump uh, on, come on the street, you just jumped on. We hung under, me and Jim Rosen, me and a man hung underneath it one time. No, me and Rose, no, me and Jim, Rose touted on us. We were stood out in front of the whole school, primary school. Tight, Rose. But I remember hanging underneath it, but just whatever, no pipes, no. And uh, I was just driving, we were laughing at each other, no, just... Imagine he's looked out and seen your son hanging underneath a main van and flying up the road. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's back to the future now. <laughs> so many. Don't need money. There was no. People are fucking watching their wings too much back. Back then you were just gone. Out and play out of my fucking sight. So you're always chased I, I the remember rush. being very young. I mean like probably like your Kova's age. And we had a match in Oma. So we had sight. Uh, for us. I remember getting back down, my boy stole Oh, Terry wanted to go to And the, I think he was a pedo. Oh, Terry wanted to go to, uh, up to see my dad in the long case. So he started thumbing it. And a priest brought him home from Newton Stewart or something. <laughs> I'm standing fucking like eight years of age. What, when was this flood? Straban flood, 85? Uh, Wasn't it 85 or 86? Say uh, it's 86. I was young, I would remember about that. Uh, well, me and Kieran went down to see what we could, because we heard that there was BMXs floating by you down the town. We're <laughs> yeah. like, going down. Um, we went down, I remember down through the town at flooded golf course, me and Kieran, 1985. So I'm seven, he's five. <laughs> and the two years are way down. And with them old wellies, you get the shot, and with the. There's just Wayne's wellies. Uh, we have. Step in the puddle and you're soaked. No, I mm-hmm. once. They're all, we went on the water at deep. It was just going down the fucking thing. Uh, but imagine your Wayne's and you didn't even. Like, we were away all day. Uh, 
There's no like. Where's the wins? Uh, we went to a football competition in Roma about t- eleven or twelve. Uh, four is. But what age are two Just boys now? Five and nine. Well, younger. No, imagine them two just headed off into the floods. Uh, They'd be fucking. You'd be ringing the cops. Uh, fucking back then, it was just either way. But I don't know. The flood went right up there. Do you know the near the porch? We never got our house. Everybody was soaked except for ours. Went right up there, just near the porch. See if they were gone now, you'd be distraught. My ma back then, they loved it. Oh, peace. <laughs> they loved it. And there was no phones. They found out where you were. Or no. Just you get back for your dinner. Uh, and when you could be away doing anything. Mm. I know, uh, you were, you, between, or between 8 or? o'clock and 4 o'clock, the word was your oyster. Uh, you'll be back for your dinner. Street lights and? The only thing is, my ma always brought us something, uh, like 8 or 9 every night, even in the summer nights when everybody was out. And playing. I would just remember sitting looking through the curtains, everybody playing football, mm. in pure daylight. <laughs> but the boys just had to come to the street lights running because it was all right. It was 10 o'clock in the summer, but it was half four in the winter. Still uh, go right on. Uh, we were brought on. That wasn't. We just ran. No way. Work. Just ran. Just ran. Get away with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where we started. With the fucking streetlights. Come on. What are you talking about? We used to have five acres. There was one see the street lamp outside your mad house. Mm. See if there's a button on top of that, turns all the lights off in five acres. Crumbs Patterson, the mate, found that out. Fuck. I don't know how he found it out, but he was up one day and just went. <laughs> I remember I remember you used to hang off it. You used to climb up and hang off. Uh, we used to hang off the top of a street light. Aye. We, we shut me up. Aye, and you used to do uh, Lost Boys with hanging. Uh, you had a, you had a, it was like a challenge. You had to hold uh, on for 10 seconds or something. It's because there's fuck all else to do. Uh, like if you, if you didn't play football too, see my even PE days, if you didn't play football, you did fuck all else. Back in, when we were at school, PE was under football. Uh, How was that? Mm-hmm. Some days they got the jungle gym out. A rope. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was once every... Once, but they used to do it all the time back in the day, but it was health and safety. Wouldn't you wouldn't be allowed uh, now? Uh, right. The ropes, badminton used to be great. Did you feel like a professional? Love it. We're playing it now at work. More. So we. Uh, it is good, but it is. Class. Could you feel pro? Uh, but I. I just hammer the young boys. Times when you were young, Castle Ray. Anything damage in your house to the storm? No. I don't think so. I think a while that I got cold the last day. Five bags and didn't burn the bags. So somebody's got them. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody in Brookville's got five bags. <laughs> somebody in Siam? They're definitely gone either. <laughs> so they're definitely flying somewhere. Because uh, I went out and all the stuff I didn't want in my garden were gone. Class. <laughs> sure. Uh, I was at work. I, <laughs> the fucking I was at work damn. last night and uh, apparently they have two red buns, which is the blue bun up here. Where? And work and down the south. Oh, uh, red now. Aye, uh, and they forgot to leave the buns out the week before, so they they're getting they left them out all week, just so they get left at this time. Aye. Brought Didn't them brought them on last night. Text the boss. <laughs> no need no need for the buns to be out. But <laughs> they don't need emptied anymore. Why? Are they away? No, every I ever hang on the bun. Oh, sir, the whole uh, see around you, the, see you, the dry arch. Do you still loved it? No, man, it was everywhere. Aye. Up trees, Aye. across fucking... Like it was a proper... You know the dry arch, covered in rubbish, <laughs> two bands. I just brought the two empty bands on. One of the mates is from Donegal, he was on, like, he survives <clears> on electricity, <throat> he must have every gadget. He's got a room that's, like, futuristic. He's got, like, two screens for his computers and electric out. I don't know. I know, sure, well, the electric... Candle and a book. <laughs> sure, I was down working too, and my phone was at 2% and the electric went out. Donegal's like that, you know. It's famous for it, because when we lived in Donegal, I lived in two houses in Donegal, and the first one we moved in there, your woman said, you can keep all them candlesticks there, and I said, no, you're right, no, I don't mind. I said, John Merrill, and then fucking three weeks moved in the place, blackout. Apparently it was, reg- it was regular, like back then, every couple of months, could have went for a couple of hours, could have went for a day. <laughs> so you're right then, lighting candles. That's why they had it there. Ah, uh, sure, like, uh, we were sitting on my phone, was at 2% in the electric, and I was like, yeah, bastard, no way I charge that. I was like, fuck the fridge. We better start eating the stuff. So I took out a yogurt and the young boy I was working with was going, oh, we better start eating all the food and all. I was like, right, that's why I had a yogurt. He brought out these... Freezer stuff you not meant Yeah, but he brought out these ham and cheese, like croissant things. Like, God, these are fucking lovely. I'm going to eat all these now. And I was like, how do you make them? He goes, you put them in the air fry, I'll put them in there for 10 minutes. I was like, the electric's out, you stupid cunt. 
Uh, Candles for a while and then the electric came back on. Because like I was like, I have no alarm. Shows you how useless everybody is. I'll text the boss, see if I'm still in the pot. <laughs> you laugh in the morning, I have no alarm here. See the head of the UN says everybody needs to get their water supplies on, their food supplies on, because it's going to be a World War Three. Who's it between? The West and fucking Russia. You? We're too, I'm probably too early to get recruited, but they'll need a man like me. Or... Just fucking entertain the fucking troops. <laughs> You're like, getting by you can do this. <laughs> you can do it. Second Robbie Williams. <laughs> I sit and wait. No, don't do that. Fight! Run! Would we be too old to get Good boy. Aye. It's mad. It's mad the way. I remember watching a long cash documentary and there was a boy reading books and all and he was in the round. He says, what's an IRA man doing reading books? And he says, what do you mean? He says, well, you join back up and you get out and he goes, I'm 30 years of age. What's the hair are you going to do with a 30 year old man? We feel 30 is young, yes. I don't know why. But, like, what if there was a war and we could batter 10 of the new wee boys with the wee, you know, the wee curly haired boys? Aye. Skinny jeans and short, no socks. Mm. Weak them boys. Look how many boys would be in the gym. Just lift some of them out of the way. Just move. So, we see if they're on the bench and they're holding two, like, big, massive dumbbells. You can still just lift them out of the way. There should be a real no phones in the gyms. Aye. Because I'm one of the worst. Aye. It's a good time to get away from the hearing things. Uh, and, you, and you notice you don't need them. Oh. And you're a wild man ever between each set. Aye, uh, but the only thing is, I log on my things, so I can't need them to think. But and I'm also using it to listen to the mm. things. As the same when I do the boxing. When I do the bag, I use it for I have a timer on my phone. But if I'm just doing weights, leave it. Nice. But like, there's days I'll go on and be in a rush, put the phone down, bang it out. But there's other days I like just doing a set, we scroll, do a set. Like if I'm in no rush... Mm. When ain't no rush was you? Never. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fucking never. It's always the next thing. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, man. I, like, I have been on the go, I swear to God, since you 8 o'clock Sunday morning. Aye. Uh, like, the, see, now when I go back and I... Do you know what you do? You know, I, I used to be like that. I used to look, uh, oh, I'll do that shift, no bother. And it's a month away, and then you come to it, and you're like, oh, well, I agree to do this. No, it's not even that. Fucking too much in, man. It's just Are you like, working this weekend, like... Sunday. It's headed for. But man, we have a holiday and all years. coming up, and it mm. fuck. Um, we have a holiday coming up too. Well, July. When are you going? July. Are you? First. We got one of them. Like what are you called? Holidays. I don't know. It's a holiday. It's not a package. Not a. It's not a hotel. It's a half board. Mm, you do. Your family stays in their own. Like a chalet, not a chalet. What are you called? Prison. When you get your own. You have your own pool and all. A house. It's a house like, but there's a name for it. Uh, Everybody's listening to this. Chalet, shy. probably. Not a chalet. No, no. You know what I'm on about. It's your own. Colonoscopies? That's a colonoscopy house. <laughs> I got a right to walk out! Colonoscopy! Uh, a colonoscopy. I can't what? say it again now. I need a glass of water. 56 minutes. <laughs> Is that us? I need a drink of Well, we're done now, sir. Is that us? Happy enough? Alright. Up a hoods.